a, a unit of, of life, a unit of a culture to be more specific, is a concept. And, and specifically, it's a solved puzzle. It's the identification of a problem which arose in a specific way of life and the naming of it and the institution of a series of related practices organized around that uh, solution. Mm -hmm. So that's what a concept is. There's an emphasis on the development of the learner and the learning environment, but also on the development of the concepts themselves, perhaps even absolutely. How, these, how these concepts have developed. In absolutely, absolutely. If you were just designing a lesson or a situation, a good place to start is with the history of ideas. If there's an idea, or is there a concept or an idea that you want to introduce, at what juncture in our cultural history did this idea come about? All right, someone invented this. It's probably an invention. Someone invented this idea. In, yeah, in response to what? As a solution? In response, in response to a situation. It's this interplay between experiential or everyday knowledge and formal or academic knowledge that produces sturdy concepts. So if he said he says if you only have one or the other, it's not very sturdy. In other words, it won't hold up in in continual uh, reapplications. If it's just uh, empty words, in other words, if you have nothing that you can personally um, inscribe in that language, then it's not useful and sturdy. If you want to help somebody develop a concept or really come to grasp a concept, the ideal way is for them to have to use that concept to solve a problem that the concept represents. And that's the only that just creates a really uh, compelling challenge for teaching. Um, I mean, mm. th there could be a whole framework for designing instruction just based on that. And because mm. it's and but it's it's mm. it's really hard to do, but it's really a unique methodology. I know. Look, it's not always possible. Uh, to get them into the problem for which the, the concept is a solution. But I think you have to keep that in mind. And, and if you, you know, I mean, this is the art of teaching. Yeah. Far be it from me to lecture a teacher about <laughs> teaching. Instruction has a decisive role in this process. Scientific concepts have a unique relationship to the object. Scientific, non-spontaneous, higher concepts. Higher concepts are not complexes that are given to us by our perception or by our experience uh, because those become highly dilute as we generalize them. They are experience that has been chewed over, digested, and importantly limited, reined in first by other people, but then through our own free choice, through our own free decisions. It is, the concept is something that the child has to produce through a process of analysis and resynthesis of the pseudo concepts that are given to the child by the word meanings of adults around them. Scientific concepts have a unique relationship to the object. This relationship is mediated through other concepts that themselves have an internal hierarchical system of interrelationships. In order to talk about one of these words deeply, like to really drill down, you yeah. have to you have yeah, to talk yeah. about you have to talk about the other words, even if it's just in terms of contrast. Yeah, because you cannot understand the order of family because family is a part of the class, which is a part of the kingdom. So this is this is what is that. So system of concepts, only system of concepts. They do not exist separately. If you're saying I grok this, is you're like saying I, I I really get something essential about this. I really get it now, right? And you're saying more than just oh yeah, I can, I can do, I can do arithmetic. I can you know I I can work with fractions. It's like saying you know why what fractions are all about, why they why we use them. In the capacity of a teacher, Vygotsky knew that real conceptual knowledge can only be acquired. Uh, when it's a means to the solution of a problem. That's what a concept is. It's identification of a problem and the solution that goes with it, or the solution and the problem that goes with it, within 
a specific um, system of practice or institution because if you don't have some system of practice then problems never arise because people just do something else.